Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars TIE Fighter. Final episode edition. Well. Final for Zarin anyway. Grand Admiral Thrawn's task force has finally trapped Admiral Zarin and the stolen Corvette Vulcan. We must destroy the traitor forces while protecting our interdictor cruiser Corvus from counterattack. Our strike cruisers Ebolo and Daring are leading the attack on Zarin's flagship, the Imperial Class Star Destroyer Glory. Thrawn's flagship, the Imperial Class Star Destroyer Grey Wolf, is moving to take a position where it can protect the interdictor Corvus. TIE Advanced Group Alpha and TIE Fighter Group Eta will clear the TIE Defender threat so that TIE Bomber Group Beta can attack the Glory. Then all of our fighters will converge on the Glory and destroy it and any craft attempting to escape. So my job is TIE defenders. TIE defenders and various combat transports are attacking the interdictor Corvus and our strike cruisers. TIE That's advanced ETR? group Alpha's launch has been timed for maximum right surprise. On. You will be under fire immediately. Wait, have we seen Grand one of before? Thorne, yeah, Bob was Lord one. Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine Remember are Bob? all counting Sorry. on you. Good luck. Grand Admiral Thrawn's task force has finally... So this is going to be one of the hardest missions ever. Well, I should hope the so. It's the final mission. Stole the Corvette Vulcan, which is our test bed for the new cloaking technology. He then managed to escape deep into the unknown region before the rest of Grand Admiral Thrawn's strike force could pounce. The unforgivable delay in the arrival of interdictor cruiser Corvus would have meant disaster were it not for the remarkable foresight of Grand Admiral Thrawn. He ordered a special <laughs> and we now know Can open up that window now? Looks like the storm is over. In the fierce battle around Tokarian base, Zarin lost most of his remaining five defenders. We will destroy the last of them in this battle. Our primary objective is to destroy Zarin once and for all. You will fly TIE Advanced Alpha 1 out of Strike Cruiser Ebola. I'm in the Ebola. Your craft has been armed with a special double and I got double missiles again. Missile. Well, your job is TIE Defenders, I suppose. You will have only one wing now. So take care of him. <laughs> so take care of him. You hear that, right? Don't lose your wingman. He's gonna die in the first five seconds. Interdictor cruiser Corvus is holding the enemy in place as Thrawn directs the battle from the Imperial class Star Destroyer Grey Wolf. You will join with TIE Fighter Squadron Eta to destroy Zarin's TIE defenders so that TIE Bomber Group Beta will be able to get through to finish the traitors off. Former Admiral Zarin has his flagship, Imperial Class Star Destroyer Glory, and several TIE defenders. The modified Corvette Divine Wind and three assault transports are attacking the Several TIE defenders. By which he, he probably means 25. Murray's transport protecting the Glory by attacking our strike cruisers. The Divine Wind is here. So I should prioritize defending the Corvus. At the first opportunity, make a close flyby of Imperial Class Star Destroyer Glory, so that we may confirm that Corvette Vortnix is still within its hangar. The tracking device is not the only secret aboard the Vortnix. Grand Admiral Thrawn has laid plans for another contingency. Zarin may attempt oh, to abandon the ship aboard a fast shuttle or other craft. Stay alert to the launch of any escape craft and inspect them before you destroy them. All right, cool. So inspect some stuff. Yep. Always with the scanning. Yeah. All right. All right, Zed Deltas. Have at ye. Oh, there's the advanced missile. Oh! Alright, 
Don't get cocky, kid. I blow through wingmen like Kleenex here. <laughs> That's a good example. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of warheads on that mini map. Three more TIE defenders entering the party. Here. Why, what's said data doing? Going for the Corvus. Really? They must be uh, alternate loadout, I guess. They must have rockets. Right at the edge of your range. No, those are out of power. There are the bombers. Oh yeah, our only objective... Oh no, we have to destroy 75% of the craft and make sure the glory dies. And inspect all the shuttles. Let's see if shows that. Don't you have to inspect the glory as well? Oh yeah. Done. Wow, that was okay. Imperial Star Destroyer. Yeah, make sure the course awesome. survives as a bonus objective. Hey, it tells me my bonus objectives in this one. Whatever, it's your final mission. It's being being nice. Anyway, I assume the shuttle one of the shuttles is gonna have a uh, former admiral. On it. Let's kill this one. Hopefully, we'll get a reload craft out of it. There it is. Yeah, it's over there. Let's go do it. Alright, Cove. We can lose the strike cruisers, they're expendable. We cannot lose the Corpus. We'll fight to the death anyway. Good job, buddy. to lose the Ebola. Where's the reload craft? Wait. I just realized I still had my uh, tractor beam on. <laughs> There's tie defenders flying around here. But I don't care. Well, there was that one uh, transport that came out that you have to go scan. No, no. Oh, you, shuttles. You, shuttles. The transport is probably supposed to be bombing something. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Six. I gotta stop Zeta. Or Zeta. Done. 
Oh man, the Iotas. The Zayotas. What about Zeta? Which one's closer? Also that um yeah. it's okay. We'll ignore the Morian transfer for now. Because we're the Tide Defender guy. Delta 6 is still out there. What is Delta 6 even doing? Attacking uh, my wingman. Okay. I mean, I'm basically ignoring his existence. Any Zetas? There's one more Iota, I guess. Zayota. Cheap! Yeah, greedy. No, I actually uh, hit the button before I wanted to. Trigger finger. Uh, at least he was uh, set off course. Who's the missile? Actually, it's fighting TIE fighters. Okay. What is it doing? Oh, that's the Grey Wolf. Let's put this over there. Marine Transport Z502 is there. I guess it was going for the uh, Corvus? Yeah. And Grey Wolf took care of it for us. Alright, it's Lambda. It's Lambda. Oh, we're launching transports to attack the Grey Wolf. Well, I guess the Tide Bombers are done. Let's fight so, Zelanda here. So what are you up to, Zelanda? He's attacked Corvus. Okay. He's, it's gonna take him a while to get there. Yeah. Both of our strike cruisers are long dead now. Glory's pretty low in health. Stick out its warhead launcher. That feels like a good thing to do right now. I feel like we probably should have done that before. Uh, not gonna target it? I was just gonna shoot the lasers. And laser range yet? It's gone. Alright, Z Lambda 1. Interdictor what? Corvus has to survive. I don't have the jamming beam, so I actually make fighting the lambda quite difficult. Oh, the shields are down, so. is in the area. Oh, is that Delta 6? Of course. So f oh, he's going for me now. Oh, he finally finished up with those TIE Fighters. Who's that shuttle? One more hit. Damn! There we go. Where's that shuttle? It's Sigma-1. What the hell over here? I'm guessing that's, uh... The traitorous Admiral. Inspect it. Officers?
Oh, now blow them up. Try to even use missiles. Ah, yeah, physical waste. Can you get to them before they reach uh, their hyperspace point? Dude, they're not even heading there yet. Oh no? Oh, they can't, because the Corvix is still here. Dirt. Okay, I'm getting a little too suicidal here. I need to tone it down a bit. <laughs> I am say, not these things an will assault kill you. gun, though. You're not a B-Wing. You can't take one of these. Bonus objectives, then. Ooh, what's that? That's the reload. Oh. Up so long. Alright, let's help. There are no more enemy fighters in the area. What's the up so long? Those are our bomber transports. Right on. You gonna take out some of the laser cannons? Yeah. Those aren't shooting. Uh, they're not targeting me, obviously. Go for, the kill level. go for the kill level one. I'm working on it. Yeah. Awesome. Just skips right to the mission goals. What you get. That is the smuggest looking man I've ever seen. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, it wasn't so hard. <laughs> That's because I was on top of it the entire time. You got a bird. You got a bird. Credits! We're gonna skip these because they're long. Alright. We got all goals, even the bonus ones. Nice. That's a lot of kills. And it included the Star Destroyer. Grand Admiral Thor, brilliant flat, maneuvered Zari into destroying himself with stolen technology. A fitting end for this despicable fate. Grand Admiral Thorne knew that if Zarin believed the cloaking device worked as well as the report suggested, he would try to slip away aboard, if that were his only alternative. Thorne had had those reports also. Our scientists had explained to Thorne that the cloaking device was dangerously unstable in the presence of an activated hyperdrive unit. We await word of the Emperor's success against the rebels at any <laughs> Only I like how that happened while we're doing this. Be completely destroyed, and peace and order restored throughout the galaxy. You have earned the gratitude of billions of sentient beings and the favor of the Emperor. Long live the Empire. Thanks. You have 
validate the final details in Grand Admiral Thrawn's plan. Throughout your career, you have frequently played a crucial role in dozens of critical missions. Many has been the time when you single-handedly tipped the balance in favor of the Empire. You have earned dozens of commendations and a chest full of medals. Let no one doubt that you are one of the greatest living Starfighter pilots in the galaxy. For I am Darth Gregors. Now I'm gonna retire. <laughs> I've had a war's worth of fights. And now it's few battle cutscenes. Because there are no more to be had. Hmm? There are no more actual campaigns, so now it's just about if you want to watch the cutscenes you can Oh, right. So yeah, that was that was a thing. I didn't get the highest rank, which is the third talent here. Okay. Emperor's Reach is pretty high, though. This is the last medal, the Medal of Victory. Of course it is. That makes sense. And I'm a general. Been a general since, like, Battle of Three or something. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um. <sighs> what was I thinking? I'm just relieved that it's finally done. So what do you think of TIE Fighter in comparison to X-Wing? Comparison to X-Wing, it's like the same game. <laughs> so it's got it's got a couple new bells and whistles, but it's the it's the same game. I like those bells and whistles. Um, it refined a few of the mechanics a little better. Uh, scanning things what didn't seem as difficult. Oh God! Like we were dying in X-Wing trying to scan things. But uh, but yeah, it it is pretty much the exact same game though. But hey, if it ain't broke. <laughs> Don't fix it, is the rest of that expression. Yeah, it's just too bad that... We're gonna play X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter next. Yeah. And we're gonna have some fun with it. One of us is, I'm sure. Yeah, at least, uh, I think... I think the other crew members would like it. So we're gonna play X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter next, and it's gonna be... It's gonna be weird. It's gonna we'll be let you guys see that on your own. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, thanks for watching our very long, well, over a hundred video TIE Fighter series. Seriously? This took way too long. <laughs> You're so lazy. I'm very lazy. This took too long. Alright, see you later, everybody. See you next time.